All right, um, we're here with Justin Gary again with Gary Games, and we're going to take a look at Storm of, or I'm sorry, uh, Immortal Heroes, uh, the latest expansion from Ascension. So yeah, if you just want to go through some of the new cards and the, the new mechanics we've got here. Yeah, no, this is uh, so uh, Immortal Heroes is the expansion to Storm of Souls. So as uh, we've talked about before, the the idea of uh, Ascension is that we release it in yearly blocks, where there's a big set and a small set. They're sort of designed to be combined together. Of course, everything can be mixed and matched as you see fit, and we have a lot of people on Board Game Geek making awesome custom cubes, which is really cool. Um, but we kind of just build it this way to make it a little bit more easy to understand and to be able to tell a story. Um, so uh, one of the main mechanics in uh, Storm of Souls was the event uh, cards. Uh, we have all new event cards that come in to help change the entire course of play. We also have created an alternate rule for event mechanics um, based on feedback from players. Um, people were concerned that there weren't enough events in the deck, it wasn't having enough impact on the games. So we have now a series of new event cards that basically you can shuffle any number of them into the deck, take the events out, and whenever a new event card comes up, you flip it and you flip the next event and it'll come up. So it has a much greater impact. And this is particularly relevant if you want to combine these sets with like Chronicle of the God Slayer or Return of the Fallen because um, it doesn't dilute it as much. You just add in more new event cards. So that's a really cool thing that I think uh, is based on direct requests from Board Game Geek fans. Um, we also have, um, we've taken the concept of trophy monsters, which is one of the more popular mechanics from Storm of Souls, and we've created ongoing trophies. Uh, ongoing trophies, uh, as you might guess, stay around, um, and they can give you a benefit uh, over time. So like Gromites is very popular, uh, whenever you defeat them, they're worth two honor at first, but then every one you defeat after that is worth an additional two honor, so it becomes a cool scaling mechanic. Um, Finally, uh, the biggest new thing that we have with Storm of Souls are the Soul Gems. Uh, Soul Gems are our first new card back, and uh, for those that are interested, we are working on uh, special sleeves uh, for these card backs. Um, uh, and there are a bunch of cards that let you get soul gems, like for example the Ascar of Souls here just says gain a soul gem. And the soul gems represent the heroes from the first war, the year one, um, that were trapped in the uh, souls of the, uh, the, by Kythus, who's the sort of guardian of the souls of the dead, and the big villain. Um, whenever you get a soul gem, you flip over the card, and it's an effect you'll recognize, but the difference is you have to use that effect at some point during your turn, and then afterwards it's banished. So it really makes you completely reevaluate a lot of the cards that you know and love, because you can end up with anything from a lifebound initiate all the way up to Master Dartha um, as a powerful effect. So there's a, there's a, some interesting variants there, and then strategically how you utilize them uh, and and how you value those different cards uh, is is you know provides some new uh, compelling content. So those are the big features. Um, you can see in the video, and you probably will be able to decode. We've got we've spoiled all the cards to this point. So there's tons of new cards. Everyone's something cool and different. Um, and so it's just you know more of the ascension that you know and love. And uh, you know we just showed it off for the first time at Gen Con. We sold out. Uh, we sold out here at PAX already. It's day one. Um, it'll be in stores on uh, in late September, probably around the 21st to the 27th. Uh, as soon as it the boat gets here, we'll let you know for sure. Um, so it's a really cool thing. Check it out. You can pre-order it on ascensiongame.com, uh, and we'll be uh, checking the forums there and uh, here on Board Game Geek to uh, answer your questions. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Awesome.